Yo, what is up? My name's Jack and I hope you're having a great day. Welcome to the Polygon Cafe, the coolest 3D platform on the internet. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create some nice looking marble tiles in Substance Designer relatively quickly as a basic introduction to Designer if you're thinking of learning the program. So let's get started. Let's start off by using a tile sampler and I'll just increase the X and Y size so we get thinner grout lines. We can then adjust the X and Y amount so that it gives us rectangular tiles instead of square ones. To get a variation in the depth of the tiles, we can then increase our colour random value. I'll just plug this into our normal map, AO and height, to see what it looks like. You might need to create an ambient occlusion node which connects to the AO output if you haven't got one already, as this will allow us to adjust the AO value if we need to later down the line. So to create the marble effect on the tiles, I'll start off by using a cells 4 node and connect this to an edge detect. At the moment the lines are very straight so we'll use a directional warp node to add some waviness to the pattern and then use a purlin noise as the intensity input of the directional warp. We then want to remove some areas of this pattern as I don't want it to be visible everywhere on the tiles, so I'll connect the first cells node to a levels node and adjust the black and grey values. So I'm then going to connect the directional warp to another levels and adjust the black values as I don't want this pattern to be prominent. So the pattern's getting there now, but to make it look more like marble, I'll connect the directional warp to a slope blur grayscale node using the same Perlin noise as the intensity input.
Now, if we go ahead and blend the directional warp with a slope blur grayscale, we get a much more detailed texture for the marble. We can then go ahead and blend this texture on top of the original tile pattern that we created. To create the base colour, I'm going to connect the ambient occlusion node into a gradient map and then use the pick gradient tool to extract colour from reference. I also forgot to offset the tiles, so just enter 0.5 in the offset position of the tile sampler.
And then to create some variation in the roughness map, I'm going to connect a moisture noise node into the roughness so we only get some areas that reflect light. If you like this video and want to keep updated, subscribe to the YouTube channel and give the video a like. But most importantly, follow our Instagram at the Polygon Cafe. We're literally the best 3D source on the internet, so make sure to stay updated. Alright, sound. I'll see you guys soon. Cheers!